Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the anti-malarial drug, hydroxychloroquine. The malaria infects the red blood cells and germinates inside them. And of course, RBCs have a lot of hemoglobin, which constantly transforms into the toxic heme. There are certain enzymes that work to reverse this process. Hydroxychloroquine works by inhibiting this process, resulting in human accumulation, which is toxic to the plasmodia. This causes little but noticeable damage to the RBCs, which is why we have hemolytic anemia, but it also kills the malaria that is germinated inside the RBC. The drug kills all types of malaria, except for Plasmodium falciparum, for which we have to use artemether and lumifantrine, or atovaquone and proguanil. If the malaria infection is very severe, or it's in the late stages, we can skip chloroquine and treat by quinidine, or artesunate. If a patient is traveling to an endemic area in a third world country, they have to take a malarial prophylaxis. So they start chloroquine two weeks prior to their trip, during the entire stay in that country, and four weeks after they come back. There are two main side effects. Retinopathy, which if occurred is irreversible. So baseline eye exam and check is mandatory. And pruritus, especially in dark skin individuals. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following patients is the most resistant to a malaria infection? All hemoglobin pathies, including sickle cell disease, grant certain resistance to malaria. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.